Hi, I'm Dr. Weiner. I'm a bariatric surgeon in Tucson, Arizona. And I've got a website, drweiner.com, that's drweiner.com. And on that website, um, I have people from across the country uh, send me questions that they have about uh, their, their weight loss surgery experience. Uh, and then uh, whenever I have a, a spare moment, I try to, to come online and, and answer it for you. So let's, um, let's hear a question today. It's a fantastic question, one near and dear to my heart. Hi, Dr. Weiner. I had bariatric surgery a year ago. It was the Rue NY gastric bypass, and I am looking to switch to a plant-based diet. I would like to know if I can do that and if I will get enough protein and if it is advised for people who have had the Rue NY um, bypass surgery. Okay, so a year out after a gastric bypass, a Rue NY gastric bypass, same thing, um, and wants to know uh, if she can switch to a plant-based diet. This is a fantastic question uh, and one that's really near and dear to my heart because I think the greatest um, piece of misinformation that we provide our weight loss surgery patients is this emphasis on lifelong a lifelong diet that is high in protein, specifically animal protein. I think when you review the nutritional literature, it's pretty clear that large amounts of animal protein can be harmful. They can cause diabetes, they can cause weight gain, um, they can cause dementia. And, and so, you know, in my mind, it's not the ideal diet, even if you've had weight loss surgery. Now, in the first year after surgery, when you're in that weight loss period, I, I'm not sure that a strictly plant-based diet is advisable unless you're really, really diligent and careful because I think otherwise you may run into, especially in the first few months after surgery, some problems with protein deficiency, which could cause excessive hair loss and decreased energy. Um, and so I, I don't encourage it in my patients really until they get out to about one year. The marker that I tend to use in my practice is when your weight loss stops. If you're at a stable weight for two, three, four months, then chances are you're kind of at the end of the road in terms of your, your weight loss after surgery. For most people, that's around a year. Uh, afterward, it can go on for two years, it can be as short as six months. Um, but once that weight loss has slowed down, then I think the emphasis no longer should be on protein. Instead, it should be on produce. Uh, and a plant-based diet works very well with that approach. So I would say as long as you're conscientious, conscientious and thoughtful about this, uh, a plant-based diet does not mean lots of potato chips. A plant-based diet means lots of fruit, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and beans. Uh, and make sure that you do still meet your protein goals, um, albeit plant protein. And I think a final word is this idea that you either have to be 100% plant-based or not at all. It really is a spectrum. And the more plants and the more produce you can eat and the less animal protein, the better. But if you're still eating animal protein once or twice a week or even once a small serving a day, that's way better than large amounts of animal protein every day. So I think in that second year after surgery, it is safe, and this applies to a sleeve gastrectomy as well, it is safe, safe to start to move toward a plant-based diet, but I'm not sure I'd go all the way there and instead would kind of slowly and gradually uh, adopt that style of eating. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to um, um, check out our website, drweiner.com. I've got tons of videos on the website um, and lots of information. And if you have a question, uh, feel free to post it to the site. Take care.